to nightly tobacco reviews where I, the person you're looking at right now, is your knight in shining armor. Get used to it, man. That's what it is. All right? Whatever. It's been a hell of a day today. It's been a hell of a week. A hell of a week, but hell of a. H-E-L-L-A-V-A. Hell of a. Yeah. Uh, we, look, I live in Quebec. Quebec is in Canada. Canada is in North America, for you people who don't know. And North America is a continent. <clears throat> so on that continent, there's the States, there's Canada, the States, and Mexico. I'm one of those in the continents, Canada. In Canada, we're separated into 12 whatever type provinces, okay? And I'm one of them. I'm the one that makes the most cash for all of Canada, right? So we're the, we're the goose that laid the golden egg, right? And because we're a socialist country, we pay taxes up the wazoo. And when I say wazoo, I'm talking about right up the wazoo. So anyways, but you know what? That's a beautiful, it's, it's, it's a beautiful uh, uh, piece of land. I love, love the wilderness here. It's just, it's incredible. Anyways, last week we had an ice storm, right? What happens? All of Quebec gets shut down. Two million people. Well, all of Quebec. There's eight million in Quebec, but southern, eastern Quebec shut down. No gas, no food, no electricity, no Squatsky. We're, we're, we're basically victims of electricity. We're, we're, we don't have electricity. Well, you better be ready to live without electricity. If you're not ready, you're shafted. And guess where I was? I was shafted. I don't have a generator. We don't have an extra heater. My sump pump didn't work. My house flooded. Huh? But you know what? It's in these times that you have to be nice. Those were trying times. Because obviously it came back. <laughs> it came back. Sure. But the government erroneously seized my bank account, wiped out all my money because they think I owe alimony to my children. They're 27 years old. Alimony's gone a long time ago. They made a mistake. So you got to relax in these days like that. And you got to be kind. It's up to you. You have control. You want to lose it, you freak? Lose it. You want to chill? Chill. Take a deep breath. Because other people are losing it around you. Right? So you don't want to be a moron and join the moron losers. Right? Anyways, you know what I'm saying. But, I mean, everybody's got their own troubles. And so I couldn't take it anymore, right? So I had my my candles. I went to my smoking room. Oh yeah, I gotta show up. I gotta show you guys a video of my smoking room. Yeah, it's coming along pretty nice, man. Anyways, uh, I'm like I look at this Ken Byron tobacco Van Gogh, and I'm saying, ah, come on, let's give it a shot, because I opened it, the canned it, and left it there for a long time, because I got a lot of cans hanging around everywhere. And when I say everywhere, I'm talking about everywhere. In the bathroom, in the kitchen, in the, 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 the living room, in the garage, uh, in the fridge sometimes because I'm an idiot. I go put it in the fridge. You know, I think it's a condiment or something. Anyways, I pull out the Van Gogh. I sit down on this fake leather couch that some guy sold me who thought it was, who told me it was leather. But because I didn't want to humiliate the guy, he sold it me 40 bucks. 40 bucks is nothing. One of these lazy boys, right? And I look at him, and I'm like, yeah, moron. This ain't leather. <laughs> Jesus. Anyways, all little pieces are coming apart, and it's on my in my bed, and I'm ranting, all right? Anyways, so I sit down, and I pull out my pipe, and what do I pull out? I pull out, uh, I pull out a, um, uh, that Canadian guy there with the maple inserts. Oh my God, I forgot. 
I forgot. I don't know why I have Brandon or Bryston or because I know there's there's a uh, uh, bladder and bladder and any other guy from Ontario. Ah, whatever. It's a large bowl, deep, not very thick walls. I don't understand, but it doesn't heat up that much. Maybe because I know how to smoke. Maybe. And um, I light up this Van Gogh. First of all, I smell it. And I got chocolate happening here. But almondy chocolate. It reminded me of when I used to live with my mom. Because Italians and almonds and marzipan and all that stuff, it's, it's what's happening, right? During the weddings and all that. And I remember them because I used to hate going to weddings. I used to hate trying on the suit. I used to hate this. I hate everything. I really, I don't. I'm just telling you. When I was young, I hated everything. So I remember stuff, right? And um, it, it smells raisiny and figgy, just like my Sunday Sunday with my whole family. You know, all the fruits and stuff. And a little tangy, but dark tangy. A little... It, I, I'm not going to say like, this is middle note to, to, to base note type of tobacco. And this was... First of all, a beautiful smoke when I when I I lit it, I was like, oh man. And I just laid down on my fake leather lazy boy, you know, in my unfinished smoking room. And I well, I couldn't put any music on. I had no music. So basically it was me and two candles. What a memory. What a memory. Out of all that chaos came a, a beautiful memory and I'll tell you something this Van Gogh by Ken Byron is is a grand cru is a grand cru yep I said it there's some tobaccos that uh, reach grand cru level but this is a grand cru and grand cru for people who don't know means it's the epitome of the best, right? So a Grand Cru is mostly associated to wines. This is a Grand Cru wine, right? Whatever. You know, the more I talk, the more I sound hoodly foodly. So people are not, you know, they're going to say, ah, oh, this guy's a bit too flighty. He's too into pairing foods and pairing this. Hey, what do you want? I pair foods with tobacco. I pair foods with, with, with smelly socks that are in my... Uh, uh, on the floor on my on my couch. It's like a regular regular person. What do you think I got time to get up after I take off my socks and go to the hamper? Come on, I just came back from work. I'm tired. You know, so I just throw them on the floor. Anyways, my dog loves to rub his face in it. So this is a Grand Cru. It's zesty. Like I said, a dark zesty. It's figgy. It's plummy. Like stewed plums. It's rich, doesn't have a bite per se. It is a Virginia, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, But I mean, don't pump it fast, you know. And um, it's, it's a tobacco I will always have in my rotation, if I can, if it's available. But I will always have it. And if you do age this tobacco, holy moly. Right? What's moly, first of all? Anyways, holy moly. What, what a pleasant experience that must be. I don't know if I have any more in my cellar. I hope to, to moly that I do because I'm, I'm waiting till some more comes out. Actually, I'm waiting till my bank account unfreezes so I can buy some stuff like uh, food and gas. And pay my bills to the bank who's got, who has my mortgage, who's actually has my accounts frozen. And then they're gonna be nice. Just, just be nice, right? I'm venting. There's nobody here. I uh, can't wait to get some money till it's in production again. And I will buy probably eight ounces of this stuff. Because you don't want to go through this. 
too fast. And the thing is, is you know what? When you buy 27 tons of a Samuel Gowth or something, and by the way, this is as yummy as a lot of stuff Samuel Gowth does. And Samuel Gowth or Gowth and Hogarth, Hogarth for me, for me, is my house. You know what I'm saying? That's the, the tastes I go to. That's comfort. You know what I mean? This Ken Byron guy. Uh, anybody has his email, please leave it below because he only has snail mail, snail mail and I haven't gotten to it yet to, uh, to, to, to write him some stuff. What? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy a stamp for what? Ten bucks to send it to Ken Byron. Don't get me started, but be nice. So, really, it's it's when you smell it, it's it's subtle, you know. And I'm and I'm thinking because I compare it to some of the Sam Sam uh, Samuel Gowett stuff. It's they must get their Virginias from Africa, meaty Virginias. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's get to the stats. Sorry, sorry. So, the brand is Ken Byron Ventures, Straight Virginia. Contents, the, the genius, Virginia. Flavoring, apricot, blackcurrant, and figs. Really? Wow. It's a ribbon cut, sold in bulk the way uh, Ken Byron sells the stuff, and it's made in the U.S. Is it available, yes or no? I think as of me yapping here, it ain't available. But keep your eyes on the Ken Byron Ventures, let me tell you. I shouldn't be saying this to anybody. I don't want it to get out, because I want to get it. Because as soon as tobacco was out, look, it's going to be out on Tuesday. Well, uh, Monday at the 12.01, or I should say Monday at 11.59 p.m., it's gone already, right? It's like scalpers. They already bought the bunch. Strength is medium to strong, beautifully medium. Flavoring, extremely mild. Yes, but all the, these are all subtle flavors. And a lot of them are in the forefront, man. You know what I'm saying? They're there. They're there. Taste, medium to full. Yes. Room note, pleasant to tolerable. Ah, this room note stuff. My wife says it smells like crap. And that's all. So, Ken Byron Van Gogh. Um, what pipe would I smoke this in? You know what? I smoked it in a big bowl. Take it easy. You got an hour, an hour and a half on your hands. Maybe two. Smoke it nice and slow. I did it in a big bowl. And it was just like someone throwing chocolate mousse at my face all the time. A path, path. You know, every poof, path. Words you cannot describe. And uh, what what do you eat with this? Well, I, I, like I said, I didn't have any uh, electricity, so uh, I didn't eat anything, right? But what would I eat with this? You know what I would eat with this? I would eat... I don't know, I have a chicken comes to mind. A mole. Mole chicken. The Mexican chocolate chicken. Spicy chocolate chicken. But then you're going to lose the chocolate in the Van Gogh. So, scratch that. I'd eat a club sandwich with fries. Eh? And an ice cold one. Right? A quart. None of this 355 milliliter stuff. By the way, I'm Canadian. Milliliters, right? It makes sense, metric. It's divisible by tens. Easy peasy. I'm, I, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Everything gets on my, uh, on my boobs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I'd have a club sandwich with this. And it's, uh, this is a solitary smoke. Solitary smoke. You don't want nobody around. You don't want to talk. You don't want to talk. You don't want it to distract you from the beautifulness that is the the smoke and the 
uh, the tastes and the room and the, uh, the tinnitus in my ears. That's something else. You don't want to distract you from that. You don't want to talk to nobody. You don't want to talk to nobody. And that's what it is, ladies and gents. It is a Grand Cru Van Gogh Ken Byron Ventures. Please don't buy it because I want it. At least I want to get eight ounces. Can I get eight ounces? Huh? All right. So that was that. I didn't think this was going to turn into a uh, rant review, but it's a rant review. Huh? So be nice. There's no reason to be angry. And well, angry. Sure, there's reason to be angry. There's no reason to be mean. Because the same energy as you being an a-hole, you could be a nice a-hole. You know what I'm saying? So be nice, and I'll see you uh, next review because I love to do these. Ciao.